Everybody's got an opinion on whether or not stop leaks in a bottle work. We're not going to talk about that today. Today we're talking about how they're designed to work. Engines leak, transmissions leak, and when they do, they're never leaking in a spot that you can just go like and fix. If only there was something you could pour into that leaking fluid and cause it to seal up that leak. Not long after someone thought that, a bunch of different options became available for stopping your leak with a fluid. There are different ways you can design a stop leak fluid to either stop a leak or make you think that a leak has been stopped. Here's a test. Go into the auto parts store, go to the oil, just normal oil, grab a bottle, shake it up. Go over to the gear oil, grab a bottle of that, shake it up. You can tell the difference right away. Then go over to your stop leaks and shake those up. If it feels like regular oil, then it's not one of those thick ones that's designed to trick you into thinking that the leak is gone. If it's super thick, like gear oil, then it might be that, but some of them do actually include chemicals that are supposed to seal it up too. Leaks are usually really small, and if you have a real thick fluid, it takes a lot of pressure and effort to get it to push through that. These are both seals. These sit in your engine for a long time. and Over time, this portion that keeps oil from leaking out gets dried up and cracked sometimes, and that can let oil out. Once that seal is compromised, a common way to fix that with a chemical is to cause it to swell up. If you've ever seen old dry rotted cracking rubber, you'll notice that not only is it cracked, but it kind of pulls away from itself. If you cause that rubber to swell up, it'll close and push up against itself. This used to work with gaskets too, but now they're made out of a very oil resistant silicone, which means that it won't let anything soak into it and swell it up. So these stop leaks won't really work on those silicone gaskets anymore. The last kind is kind of like a glue in that it doesn't cure until it gets heated up by the engine and then it gets to the outside where the leak is. There's no easy way to tell the difference between the two chemical types. All you can really go for is, is it a chemical type or is it one of those real thick ones? 